Hello everyone. Good morning. Buenos dias. How are you? We are stepping into 2021 properly. I'm going to share with you some things that you're going to definitely need if you want to have a successful year in 2021. And success is by your own nature. Like what you determine is your success. I'm going to wait for a couple people to get on. What's up? Hey, hey, hey. Hit the share button. This might be a message for someone that you know. Someone that you, you know, don't even know might need this message. Don't be selfish with the energy. So share this live with at least four or five people and then come back. Come right back. So, um, over the years, I've learned a lot. Now, let me tell you something. I come from Baltimore, Maryland. Okay, it's a small city. I'm a small town girl <laughs> with dreams. And growing up for me was very, very rough. I was around a lot of toxic people. I was a lot of toxic energy. Um, I was. I, I witnessed some things that some children just shouldn't have seen, right? And I learned that behavior and duplicated it as I got older. So. You know, I was as, as a child, I grew up in those things, but then as a teenager, I grew up just like that and duplicated those things. And just because, you know, you learn something or see something when you're young doesn't mean that you need to keep that going. Sometimes you got to know when to cross the line. Sometimes you got to know when to hit the brake. Sometimes you got to know when to get rid of some things. So, of course, y'all know happy full moon is a full moon, happy full moon. But with the full moon, it's a time of reflection. It's a time of fullness. And you like, hold up now because the moon about to go bye-bye. So you got to realize, what am I going to say bye-bye with? And this is powerful because it's a new year, y'all. You're going into this new year, not starting fresh necessarily, but really getting rid of some stuff because 2020 was stressful for a lot of us. Drop in the comments if 2020 was stressful for you. It's not a pity party. I'm not just letting you know, but we're going to all take all of this energy collectively and we're going to take it and we're going to just kick it to the curb because this is not okay. What's up, Court? What's up, Lock Life? I um, reached... I actually I appreciate you for sharing your graphic designer with me. I'm going to be doing some New Year stuff with that person. They are amazing. Um, but yes, 2020 was not miserable for only you. I got into a car accident. I haven't been in a car accident in years. Got into a car accident. Someone hit us because of the riots. Um, it was just a lot of energy going on. I that that was horrible first of all it stopped me from working i fell into a depression someone in my family got really really sick it it was very scary i had to rethink my whole entire life i wanted to launch something and i couldn't like it was so much my business halted it was just a lot of stress you here for the positivity exactly it was just a lot of stress right but you gotta realize that okay this stuff was temporary and I'm going to leave that there just because I got into, you know, some crazy situations in 2020 doesn't mean I'm going to take that into 2021. No, I'm going to learn. So you have to really, really identify, take your, um, take your, your, your L's and don't make them losses, make them learning experiences. Anything that you are going through, you are growing through it. Okay. I want you to really dig, dig deep and think about all of the horrible things all of the people that you know that got COVID all you may have gotten it I actually listen I didn't get it thank God but I've came in contact with so many people who experienced some horrible things and we're talking about these things because it's so 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 important that you leave that shit right where it started I know this might be difficult for some people to understand or underhear or, or, or you know, or, or grasp because sometimes when bad things happen, you know, we remember it and it becomes trauma and then it's just like this whole big old thing. But I want you to nip it in the bud now so you can step into your purpose in 2021, so you can step into your greatness, so you can walk in the path that you have been meant and created for with ease. So I'm, I, I'm trying to wonder, like, who am I talking to right now? Who is ready for a brand new experience? Who is ready for elevation? Who is ready for their goals to come true, their dreams to come into fruition with ease? Let me know. Who is passionate about this brand new beginning? Who is relieved? Who's been looking forward to 2021 being some different experience? But let me tell you something. No matter how many years pass by, until you start to eliminate those things that depressed you, those things that made you sad, those things that made you guilty, those things that made you feel less than, you will not go into a new year with a new experience. 
doesn't matter how many times you move doesn't matter how many different cities you travel to doesn't matter how many times you change your hair none of that matters unless you let go of the negative activity the negative thoughts the negative beliefs and get rid of them and eliminate them from your from your daily habits from your daily thoughts and taking up mental space into your into your world you're not going to have a new experience to get rid of those things so I'm always here. I'm always teaching how to let go because I've let go of so many things in my life. And the reason why I'm talking about this new year is because it was a point in time in my life where every year at New Year, like the new year, it would be bad. Something bad would happen. And I'm like, all these people like New Year, New Me. And I'm like, whoa, I just got into a fight or, you know, one time I was dating somebody and they left me in the middle of nowhere on new year's eve i was like 16 like it was so many things that happened that were horrible on, on when i experienced a new year so i'm just sharing this with you because i remember when i decided i was 18 and i said you know what my new years from now on are going to be amazing and it took some time it took about three years but it got better and better and better and better and now it's like wow the new year for me it's kind of like another day but it got to collectively it's a whole new energy and i know so much happened to us last year or this year that has been so you know detrimental and so so traumatic but i just really want you to just take that and use that as fuel to say you know what i learned this i learned that i do need another stream of income i learned that and that was something for me i learned that in 2019 i said oh no so in 2020 I started another business but then now I said you know what now I need to start making my money make money for me so I'm taking that L and making it instead of it being a loss making it a lesson and then taking that L and making it a lesson learned does that make sense to y'all let me know in the comments does this make sense to you uh, am I speaking a foreign language are you comprehending like what is going on through your brain what is it that you know that you can let go of drop it in the comments because we're going to let it go together it's like a live ritual we're gonna we're gonna cancel cancel delete so how do you let these things go because in our last live we talked about how to get unstuck and it's very very similar how do you get out of this pattern you so used to waking up and feeling groggy how do you get out of that what do you do what do I do? I'll tell you, because I don't know what you do. But what I do is I wake up. I say, thank you, God, for waking me up. I listen to some personal development. Right now, I'm in a coaching program. So I listen to my coaches. I brush my teeth, wash my face, take a shower, because the water, oh, my God, water does something to me. Immediately, I go in the kitchen. I take two NRGs, because that helps my brain to stay good, happy, focused, feeling good, amazing, right? Take my vitamins um uh, meditate a little bit and then i start my day what did i used to do i used to wake up immediately and call somebody right getting all up in their energy to experience and what they got going on when i ain't even get my thoughts together right i'm checking on everybody else and i haven't even checked on myself horrible where a lot of us are empaths taking up all the people's energy you don't know huh, please no i keep my energy real real separate i might say hi to my cat you know say hi to my baby that's it that's it and then i take care of me for the first like hour pretty much and then i will check my bank account um well not necessarily my bank account but my funds you know look at the stores and look at the numbers and for me i just have to have that me time first and then I start my day. So I want you to just think about what is your routine going to be? What are you going to do differently? What are you going to eliminate? And then how are you going to make sure that that thing stays gone? She said, letting go of the past hurt and people got to break the pattern. Exactly. Just because something happened to your mom and your grandmom does not have to happen to you, Karis. That's how I talk to myself. Just because my grandmother went through that, my great grandmother probably went through that. It's in the lineage. Doesn't mean that I have to keep going with that. That means that I have to stop it with me. Because do I want that to happen to my children and their children? No. So I'm going to do the things necessary. I don't care if I have to stay up later and wake up early. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make sure that I make it completely different. That I shift the narrative for their future. Because 
I want it to be easier for them. I want them to enjoy life. How many of y'all want to enjoy life? How many of y'all want freedom? How many of y'all want to just feel better every single day? Let me know. Because I really want to know who I'm talking to. Do you want different or are you cool? We stepping into 2021 powerfully with purpose. My mantra for the year, um, I, I, I feel like, because I, I, I be thinking about this stuff. I be thinking like, well, what's my year going to look like? Uh, what, what do I want to accomplish? And for me, it's stepping into my purpose unapologetically and bold. So the, the theme for my 2021 is going to be bold, okay? I've always been a go-getter. I've always been kind of like, oh, this me, bye, 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 bye. You know, I'm making a name for myself. But I was like, you know what? I, I kind of, you know, was scared a little bit. Like with Pussy Potions. I was like, mm. Maybe I can make it something else so I can run an ad. Fuck them fucking ads. Let me tell you something right now. If I create a different brand, I'll create a different brand. But I'm not changing my fucking name on my business to run a fucking ad and make more money. People are going to get these motherfucking pussy potions. I'm not compromising myself. Will I shift how I do my business to make my marketing more effective? Of course. But I'm not going to compromise something that was given to me from my gods. Okay? No! I'm not gonna do that. My ancestors gave me this for a reason. But anyway, anyway, um, what is your your theme gonna be? So I want you to okay. So we we did this. We we thought about. We reflected over the year, right? How did it go? What do we hate about it? <laughs> How do we want it to be different? So we reflected on the things that we absolutely hated, right? You took those things. You're letting those things go. Perfect. They're gone. Absolutely great. What is it that you want in 2021? Think about your relationship goals, relationship with yourself, relationship with your, your spirit, uh, relationship with your people around you, your family, your friends, your spouse. Think about your relationships. I want you to really, really think about how do you want your relationships to go. For me, I want forgiveness in my relationships. I notice that my life feels better when I forgive people. So what if this person did this and that? I don't care no more because that stuff is heavy and that will weigh you down and it will slow down your evolution as a human being, your your manifestations. Like, fuck that. Leave it in the past. Like you said, let that hurt go. Bye. So I'm not hurt no more. You know, I take it for what it is and I forgive you. I forgive you. So this is a good forgiveness one, right? Please forgive me. I forgive you. I love you. Thank you. Boom. Done. Right? So, um, your relationships then i want you to think about your purpose a lot of people all the time be like i don't know my purpose and i understand that for a long time i didn't know mine and i believe that you have several purposes in the world i don't think you have just one some of you like my mom she say all the time i think my purpose was to give birth to you and i just be like damn but both of her children so me and my brother she be saying i think my purpose was to just bring y'all into this light into this world honestly and I disagree with her in a little bit. I think that was a part of her purpose or is a part of her purpose. But I really believe my mother is, she is a beautiful person. She's an empath. She gives great advice. She's a beautiful person. She makes people laugh. Like she has several purposes. I think one of her purposes is to entertain. Because Sister Girl is an actress, okay? I'm so excited to be in Hollywood and be her manager. You know how people be like momagers? I'm going to be a daughter Cause I'm going to listen, I'm going to get Miss Girl. She going to get booked, okay? She's funny. She makes people feel good. So I believe that it's a part of her purpose and she doesn't know that yet, but we're going to work on that. We're going to work on that. But anyway, what is your purpose? So what is it that you are born to do? People think that purpose is like always this big thing. And I feel like all purposes are big things. Don't put it on, oh, it's a small scale. Being a mother, bringing children into this world is a powerful thing. That's a huge purpose. That's a huge gift. That's why women are praised. Because, excuse me, y'all. Because you're so powerful. You got a portal in your coochie that's connected to the divine. That's big. Hey, Shantae. Oh, my God. Shantae's on here. My brand new business partner. Hey, Shantae. I'm so excited to work with you. What is it? Shantae, please send me a picture so I can create your banner. What is it that you are here to do? Are you here to change lives? That's why I became a life changer. Yes, I am. I am here to change lives. And I'm going to change those lives in health and wellness 
financial. I knew that my a part of my purpose was to help for me to help black women to help black women achieve financial sustainability. I wanted specifically black single moms just because I grew up with a black single mother who could not figure that money shit out. She couldn't. Like she worked so much. My mother worked jobs on top of jobs on top of jobs y'all like she worked so so hard just to provide for me and it was just me at the time my brother was grown and just to see that she still couldn't make ends meet it's like dang I really want to help other women who have children that need help you know what I'm saying I want to figure out how I can help them make money you need money to work in this world, literally. There's no way getting around it. And I'm actually about to get off a car because I'm doing a drop off for one of my girls. But you have to figure out this money shit. If you want to have a peaceful, sane life, you're going to have to get gas for your car. Even if you don't have a car, you're going to have to pay for ride share. You got to pay rent. You got to get food. Those are necessities and you got to have clothes. It don't matter if you're shopping at the dollar store for them. You have to have these things. So I said, you know what? I have to figure out a way to provide a, a way, a source, a, a channel for women to get money. A joint TLC. I need these women. They're not working for me. They're working for themselves. They are paying $50 to start their own business, to have, to be on their own feet, to be independent. That's exciting for me. So single moms is my passion. I'm not even a mom yet, but I just know the vibes. I grew up with a mom who had to raise me on her own. Period. I just, I did. So that's one of my purposes. Um, health and wellness. I like people to be healthy. I got sick when I was in my 20s, early 20s. I lost function of my legs. So I started Pussy Potions because I knew that I wanted women to heal and to receive alternative treatment for whatever they got going on. It's a vaginal thing um, from the earth though. Not with, you know, um, only traditional, Western traditional medicine. No, I wanted to give them an alternative. I wanted to give them something that worked for me, which is herbs. So that's how you drink pussy tea. You know, that's a part of my purpose. So all of the things that you are good at and that you successfully do, whether it's making somebody smile or you push out a baby, that is a part of your purpose. So don't think that your purpose is is it's it's far fetched and, and it's hard to discover. No, your purpose is within you. This is the reason why you were born. You were born to you could have been born to just smile at someone. Imagine that. You changed somebody entire life just because you said hi to them. They was ready to give up. They was ready to end it all, y'all. And imagine if your smile or your hello or your thank you changed the game for them. We have so many purposes that we don't even know. You're impacting people every single day and you don't even know your presence alone. It could be your perfume. You're just smelling good. That could change the game for someone and make them feel like, you know what? I need to take care of myself because I want to smell like her or I want to look like her or I want to be like her. People come to me all the time like, sorry, y'all, my thing went out. It helps you a lot. I love you, Miss Little, and I'm figuring something out for you. I just freaking figure something out magical and you're gonna be very proud drink mine this morning that's what's up be just answer the phone exactly so i want you to really think about these things and i had to get off the car real quick um i wonder if she minds being on camera <laughs> but um I, I i want you to think about those things right you're thinking about what you hate it about 2020, right? You thinking about how you can change it. And now we thinking about, well, what are we gonna do? So you're, th you're reflecting on relationships. How do you want your relationships? You're reflecting on your income. How do you want your finances to be? There we go. Oh, she lit. This is a beautiful area. Let me call her. That was it right there where it said guest parking. They told me. What? No, you remember I'll being over you, here? No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Oh, okay. I'm going to turn it Okay. So, um, think about all of those things. And this is what's going to be your plan for 2021. I feel like it's 2021 is kind of like, well, what can I do better? For me, I can step out more. I can be more bold. I can be more unapologetic. 
I can learn more. I can invest more in my mental. So I'm doing those things. And don't start till January 1st. Start now. We started 2021 about a month ago. <laughs> Honestly, about 30, 90 days ago. That's when we started. Let me see. My ancestors don't play. They make sure I found you. I have so much magic to share with you. Oh, my God. Let's talk to you soon. Yes, please give me a call. I love you, too. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so, 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 so much. I thought for a long time that my purpose was only in music to this voice is healing, whether I'm speaking or singing. This voice is powerful. So I want you to think about all of the great things about you. Look in the mirror. This this is it right here. You got to go into here? Yeah, she told me to go. Oh, shoot. This is how drop-offs in L.A. go, y'all. I do drop-offs in L.A. only for my special, special, special potion girls. Hello? Hi, I'm outside of the guest parking. Okay, come to the lobby. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Okay, cool. Okay, see you soon. I'm so excited. I love meeting y'all. Y'all be so lit. Um, so let me get some hand sanitizer. <laughs> let me get my hand sanitizer out. Jupiter rising so beautiful. Oh my god, I love y'all. Actually, I gotta get off live because I don't want y'all to um I don't know if she's comfortable being on camera. And I gotta finish this conversation. But I'll be right back. I wish I could go live on two accounts at one time. Mm, one day, y'all. One day. But yeah, okay, so we're reflecting. So you have to start into this with 2021 with a plan. Do not just go into it because I'm telling you, you're going to go and if you, and stuff is going to happen. Life is going to happen regardless. So you have to figure out, well, what am I going to do differently? What do I want? What am I going to do differently? And you got to stick to the course. You have to. And if you have a plan, you have a target. So you're able to really get there. So I hope this message was really helpful for you. I'm going to come back on live in a couple of minutes. I'm going to save this. I'm going to upload it onto YouTube. But I want you to really, really develop your plan. So take five minutes. Take five, This is just a break. It's a coffee break. Adele got a coffee break. Take five minutes and think about what is it that you're going to... What's your plan? What is your plan? What is your plan? You can't do nothing without a plan. When, when life happens, if you have that plan, you won't give up. You won't give up because you have something that you're going through. Going for. And I don't care if it's financial spiritual mental it should be all three honestly you should have a goal for your finances a goal for your relationships a goal for your spirituality and a goal for um your mental growth and evolution what is what are all you mind body and spirit all of those things are important equally important because without one you can't have the other you can't be truly successful financially if mentally you're depressed you can't be truly successful um, spiritually if you can't get up because you're not healthy, because your body has failed you. So think about those things, whether it's a weight loss or a weight gain or whatever it is, or you want to eliminate some of the medications you're on, whatever it is. Think about that thing. Know that you can do it. Know that it is done because you declared it and get the work. I love y'all so much. I hope this was helpful. Have a beautiful day. I'll be back in a little bit because we got to talk. <laughs>